guys welcome back to my channel today I am going to give you the craft room tour it is pretty much as done as it's going to be for now <laughs> um, and this is just actually a temporary space until we finish our basement if you can believe that but right now uh, my office and craft area is right off the entrance right there <laughs> front door um, and kind of right outside our living room and such so I have to keep it extra neat all the time just in case someone pops by. But let's go on in and I will show you guys around. So when you first walk in, you actually see my uh, art desk up front um, here. We have all of my markers. These are Copic and Ohuhu markers in there. And then this little basket here is my basket of goodies uh, for hauls or um, like I have flip throughs that I need to do. Basically anything I recently bought that needs to be filmed in some way <laughs> goes in that basket right there. Uh, this little box here has all my swatch cards that you guys see me use on my tutorials and all that stuff. And then let me... So yeah, here is the coloring desk. Uh, right now I am working on a hair tutorial. For now, that stack of books is my TBCs for the month. I don't really have anywhere else to put them. <laughs> it's such a small space right now. And then this is just right now the pencils I'm working on and a test sheet. The drawers are kind of have odds and ends, like this one has clips to hold my papers, um, some rings, pencil extenders that I never use, <laughs> I don't know why they're even there anymore, and then like my page markers, a random Tagal, seriously just random junk, <laughs> but um, the center drawer, again, just has like my color wheel, uh, this little doodad helps you draw mandalas, it's kind of nifty and my Cricut cutter, and then I have like a little roll-up pencil case I use for traveling, and I do rarely travel, so that tells you how long that sits there. Uh, this has my Distress Crayons, because I can't figure out where I want to put them. <laughs> um, cotton balls and cotton swabs for pastel work, and then all of my sketching stuff is in here, so I have a set of pencils and fine liners, tons of extra leads, it's just my little cloth for watercolors. It hangs out in there right now. Uh, right behind my craft desk is my work desk. Not much to say about that. Um, <laughs> here is where I work 8 to 12 hours a day. Uh, and there's nothing artsy about it, except I do have on my desk my Sarah Renee Clark planner. I actually like her planner. I'll be honest, I never actually color it. <laughs> <laughs> I just don't have time. Um, and then my creative companion. So this is like what I use for my YouTube channel. This is what I use for life. And there's not much to that. Um, this is my recording arm. So it actually is a stand, as you can see. And that is because this desk, when we first put it in this office, it shakes on the carpet. So I had to, instead of having it, it used to attach. Actually, here's a little thing right here. I can stick it right in if I wanted to. Problem is, is it shakes. So I found this standing arm on um, Amazon and it's been awesome. So let's go, actually let's go over to this corner first. Okay, so here is my nifty craft storage um, turntable thing. I don't even know how to describe it. I'm going to zoom out. There we go. So this thing is nifty. It like, it spins. Look at that. It's a turntable of craft supplies. I'm easily amused by gadgets. Um, so the boxes up top right now are decoration. Uh, that's because I literally just finished painting them with chalk paint. So haven't decided what I'll use them for. But don't worry, eventually they'll be full of stuff. So the pegboard here, um, right now these are just odds and ends, like silver and gold gel pens. These are all my glitter paint pens up here. Uh, this is all my blenders, and I am running dangerously low. I need to fix that. Uh, my 
Sharpies. <laughs> I'm down to one. My husband and children keep stealing them. This is all my white Posca pens in different sizes. This one here just has all my white gel pens, different sizes, different brands, but they're all in here. Um, my brushes, scissors. Here are all my water brushes and art brushes. Now, these are just general purpose art brushes. And then these are all of my water brushes, a few different brands. Like this is Captron. I've got the Kuretake. And then I even have some Karandash ones, which I will be honest, I have not used. <laughs> they came, I forget how I got those. Um, and then this section down here is all my watercolor stuff. Uh, so I have my Kiritake watercolors. And then my Jean Davenports uh, are here. I actually have some in that basket I showed you back there. They need to be swatched and then they'll hang out here. These are my watercolor brushes. So I have the Fumui, I don't know how to say it. Made from red squirrel hair, <laughs> always interesting. And then these ones were gifted to me by a friend. And then my one set of gelatos are hanging down here for now. I actually might pull these out and put them in one of those boxes above. And then this just is my stencils for, or stencil brushes. And then this is a water jar that I use for watercolors. Okay, and then if we do our little turntable on this side, I would like to state I don't have a Prismacolor problem. <laughs> Just kidding, I do. Um, these are all my spare Prismacolors. Yeah, I have jars and they're color coordinated and I'm a nerd and they're inventoried. <laughs> so these are all my spare Prismacolors. I always make sure I have a minimum of two in stock. I, am, I use them obviously a lot. And then this is this jar, this single jar, is for my open stock of non Prisma colors. <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh every time. So I got like one Faber Castell Ivory, a couple Lumies. So yeah, I don't have a Prisma problem at all. Okay, down here is just kind of miscellaneous um, accents, we'll call it. So all my stickles. All my distress ink, and then this is like my distress ink caddy with all the tools. Like I got the the little brushes, or not brushes, blending tools, the spongy tools, and then my distress ink sprayer, and then all the little brushes that I love. And then I've got all my fixatives and clear glaze, and then I've got like my Mod Podge Extreme Glitter, Glossy Accents. Uh, just a clear deco page. Down here, uh, spray paint is actually for a project, <laughs> but this is like all my pan pastels. So I have them in the palettes. It's actually, let me put this down, um, easier because then you can just pull out a palette tray and use it. This one is actually the skin one I bought in the tray. Move that off to the side. While well, this one, I had bought them open stock and added them to the palette tray but it's so much easier to store them that way. Then you don't have to sit there and mess with the lids. And then this basket is just all my tools. It keeps falling over. Okay, and then if we turn it again, this side is my little cork board with swatch charts. So these are all like watercolor uh, swatch charts. And then this here is like my distress inks and pan pastels and stickles. And then this swatch chart here is for my markers. You're probably thinking, well, where's the one for your pencils? That is in the other room. <laughs> but it's like this thick and wouldn't hang on here if I tried. And this is what I'm talking about, me being a nerd. My Prismacolors are inventoried. Got to make sure I always have some. Uh, the drawers just have random stuff like... This has random tag, like gift tag stuff, some fabric that I plan to do something in my office with. Don't ask me what. Um, way below are binding coils for my binding machine. This one is also just random. So it has my one of my paint palettes, um, my calligraphy set. Haven't used it. 
<laughs> um, my big monster thing of gel pens. If you saw my old craft room tour, you'll probably remember this case. It's huge. Uh, it holds like 200 gel pens. And then I just have my fine liners from Arteza in there. So it's kind of like an odds and ends drawer. Okay. And we turn again. On this side, I just have all my washi tapes, my liquid masking just hanging out by itself there. This is actually for my Fuji Insta whatever camera. The new Polaroid thing. And then my glue gun. Nothing coloring related really on that side. I use the washi tape though to block off pages. So, like if I'm watercoloring on one, I block off the next one. I, ha I don't actually use them to decorate my pages or anything. <laughs> I actually use them more like a masking tape. So it's kind of an expensive masking tape. But yeah, that is my little turntable storage caddy. A few of you had asked from my whips whip Wednesday about that. Um, over here, there is the infamous Husky. She follows me everywhere. Isn't she adorable? She comes with the office. Uh, this little printer stand here, this super cute picture my mom got me. Just keep creating. And it matched my office colors, so I love it. Then I have my printer, my trusty laser, that once it runs out of ink, I'll be, not ink, toner replacing it. The bottom drawer is for files, but the top drawer has all of my papers, well, and a charger. But like I have all of my different papers, so all my Nina papers, an Astro Bright, and then my Nina Desert is somewhere back there, and then I have like my watercolor paper, Whoop. watercolor paper um, pads, I have also marker paper pads, and black paper, and then regular printer paper. Just paper. It is a paper drawer. Let me just get that back in there. Okay, so let's move over to the bookcase because that's where everything is stored. So you'll notice I have my desk kind of back to back, but that's because I can just turn around and scooch over and now I'm coloring. Go from work mode to color mode. See, it's easy. All right, so let's walk this way, <laughs> maybe. Um, this is my view from the office, minus the landscaping company, but I have a pretty good view. Right now my front yard is not so great. Uh, they're currently working on that, <laughs> so. This is my bookcase that I'm pretty sure is way over its weight limit, um, but let's, it's holding strong, so uh, up there is a tripod, that black thing, and then that's my cinch binding machine. <sighs> These here are my PDFs. Um, I really need to label them, but like I have them categorized. Mariel Boudek has her own, but basically any PDF printable, I print them out, I put them in clear sheets. This basket is what I've colored this month so that I remember to show you guys. This is, oh, that's just my clipboard. Uh, this is my binder of all sorts of coloring stuff that I'll have to show you guys one day. It has all my uh, color combinations for like every pencil in there. Uh, this is all my sketching stuff. So my sketchbooks, I have a bunch of sketch pencils in this case and all that. Uh, these are my coloring books. Oops, get my hand out of there. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, but there's actually quite a few books there. <laughs> They're just all jammed in there. And then of course there's books in there and books right there. But uh, yep, these are all my coloring books that I plan to do a video on one day. A lot of them I gave away to the kids. Uh, down here on this side is just where I keep my mats for now because I don't know where else to put them, but I break this one out when I'm painting on my desk so I don't ruin it. This is my little purple one that you guys have probably seen in a video or two. And here are all the pencils. Well, not all of them. <laughs> Some are in my bedroom right now. I got like my Prismacolors 
and brute fooners are in my bedroom and then my one of my derwent sets are on my desk but um, right now all my felissimos are over here in their cases my derwent chroma flow just chilling with them and then yeah these are all colored pencils my derwent artists most of my derwents are over here in their tins and then I have all my other cases most of them have tags saying what they are some have fallen off during the move <laughs> I just got lazy because I know what is what but like see Black Widow so they all hang out in here yes I'm too lazy to zip them back up that's asking a lot so half the time they're not even zipped I got a spare sketchbook um, spare set of Amazon basics because I had actually bought these first when the 72 count were out of stock and I didn't know if they were coming back and then I bought these and like seriously a week later the 72 were back so they're my spare but yeah that's where I store all the pencils for now and I did do a video on my pencils and I plan to do a video showing you like my other mediums watercolor neocolors dog <laughs> But yeah, guys, this is the craft space um, for now, including the dog. But like I said, when we finish the basement, um, my whole art area will actually move upstairs. And I'll have my own little recording studio and art area. And then this will just become my office and that's it. So a lot of my supplies are in the basement and they're going to stay in boxes in the basement until I can actually have a craft space but thanks for touring with me um hope this helped put the picture in your head I've had a lot of you asking for this tour so I finally got around to it but thanks so much for watching and until next time take care